right. And they are with the Muslim Community Center, uh, also referred to as MCC, East Bay, to accept our proclamation designating August 2019 as American Muslim Appreciation Month. So welcome. Thank you for having us. And uh, I, you probably heard it before, but uh, when we get done reading the proclamation, please stay and offer comments, and if you wish to take a photo. Um, we dropped it on the photographer. I think they're going to do that. And it, and it looks like he has a pretty nice camera yeah. and not, not yeah. an iPhone, so yeah, there you go. All right, whereas, enriched by the unparalleled diversity of its residents, the city of Pleasanton takes great pride in supporting individual religious freedoms for all. And it is strengthened by the many contributions made from the many religious and cultural traditions of its residents. Whereas over 90,000 Muslims live in Alameda County and make innumerable contributions to the culture, political, and economic fabric and well being of our city, our county, our state, and our nation. Whereas American Muslims are teachers lawyers, doctors, social workers, tech workers, nurses, business owners, among the numerous other valued professions, and most importantly, are our neighbors and fellow Pleasanton residents. And whereas local organizations such as the Muslim Community Center of the East Bay, the Islamic Center of Zahara, and the Tri-Valley Muslim Caring Community hosts various interfaith events, providing a spiritual and cultural environment. And they promote interfaith cooperation through dialogue, education, fellowship, and the entire Pleasanton community to participate. Now, therefore, be it resolved, the City of Pleasanton Council does hereby proclaim August 2019 as American Muslim Appreciation and Awareness Month to acknowledge the rich history and contributions of American Muslims in our community. And may it have a lasting positive impact on our city, our state, and our nation. And it is dated this 3rd of September, 2019. Thank you very much. Good evening, uh, Mayor Jerry Thorne, um, Vice Mayor Brown, and the rest of the council. My name is Poshmi Nasiri, and I am an immigration attorney. I'm also a 10-year resident of Pleasanton, and I've had an opportunity to raise three children. In addition, I'm also a business owner in Pleasanton. I'll, I, along with many of my Muslim community members that are sitting here and also not here this evening, call Pleasanton our home, and we are an integral part of this community. I'm also the Vice President of the Council on American Islamic Relation, which is referred to as CARE. CARE, which is um, the largest civil rights organization representing Muslim Americans nationwide. Its mission is to enhance the understanding of Islam, protect civil rights of Muslim Americans, promote justice, and to empower American Muslims in, in our cities and our communities and nationwide. On behalf of CARE and the Muslim community in Pleasanton, um, Vice Mayor Brown and Mayor Jerry Brown and the rest of the council. Um, thank you for recognizing um, August of the council, uh, the, month of, the month of August as the Muslim Appreciation Awareness Month. This is especially meaningful given the political climate and the difficulties the Muslim community has been facing nationwide. CARE has seen an increase in hate crimes, discrimination, and bullying of our children in schools and also throughout the community. By this recognition, we are sending a message that xenophobia and intolerance has no place in Pleasanton or any community in, in the United States. Again, Muslims have been part of building this nation and even arrived prior to our nation's founding. We, as you referenced, are doctors, lawyers, teachers, activists, educators, and we are a fabric of this community and of this country. We are thankful to the support of the Pleasanton Mayor, Vice Mayor, Council, and the community at large for declaring August as Muslim Appreciation Month. I would like to leave you with a poem which perfectly captures this moment of solidarity that this award represents for the Muslim community and the Pleasanton community. 
the, first, the poem is written by Martin Niemöller called First They Came. First they came for the socialists, and I did not speak out because I was not a socialist. Then they came for the trade unionists, and I did not speak because I was not a trade unionist. Then they came for the Jews, and I did not speak because I was not a Jew. Then they came for me, and there was no one left to speak for me. So this poem captures the solidarity, and I thank each and every one of you for the opportunity and also recognizing August as Muslim Appreciation Month. Thank you. Good evening, Mayor and uh, Council. Thank you so much for honoring our state's de designation of August being um, Muslim Appreciation Awareness Month. I'm representing Pleasanton's Muslim Community Center, the MCC. As you might know, is a vibrant regional mosque and community center right here on West Las Pacitas Boulevard. We've been there since uh, 2010. You know, we're in uncertain times and to see city councils in Pleasanton, Dublin, San Ramon, and Livermore uh, recognize that we're part and parcel of the community and that we're appreciated. Uh, I can tell you that it truly uh, means a lot for the approximately 15,000 Muslims who live in the Tri Valley. American Muslims, as you heard, ha have lived and contributed to their communities uh, since our country's founding. And in the last decade and a half, uh, the impact of Islamophobia has been real. We've heard from congregation members, women wearing their faith on their head in the form of a headscarf as they walk on the street, in malls, and shopping centers, and hospitals of our city, uh, of being intimidated by unfriendly stare or a racist comment or an intimidating approach. For our students, uh, there was a recent study by the Council on American Islamic Relations reporting 49% of American students have experienced bullying at school. And what's worse, amongst 38% of those surveyed students, they say they've experienced uh, the bullying from their own teachers. Uh, in the workforce, employees and applicants who are Muslim have filed lawsuits against employers and won them based on religious uh, discrimination. So that's why today, as uh, today's proclamation is so important, and we need to, uh, you to continue to speak up when you hear rhetoric that can tear uh, the beautiful civic fabric in Pleasanton. Um, that would make a world of difference to your constituents uh, who are Muslim. So behalf, on behalf of Pleasant Muslims, thank you very much for this proclamation and for this recognition. Thank you.